Welcome to the Roy Ball Learning Center for the Division I Championship match. It's the top two ranked teams. Number one ranked Granada Hills, 25 and 5. The West Valley co-champions, they tied with Chatsworth against the Carson Colts. They were perfect in the Marine League. They've won 35 matches this year. We're ready to go. I'm Randy Rosenblum with Armin Mercado, the Taft head coach. Armin, what do you expect here? Oh, I expect a tight match. I think both teams are playing on a high. I'm very, very excited to be here, Brandy. <clears throat> Carson in the white, and they score first on the outside. Beautiful kill from Wellington Afusia. Wellington had 15 kills, 10 digs against Chatsworth in the semifinals. And Afusio will put it back in play. Quick attack in the middle. Barango with the kill. Granada is going to be doing that all day long. That's their favorite play is setting the middle. I'm really, really looking forward if um, Carson can neutralize that. Barango's shot was in, but there was a net violation. So it's 2-0 now, 2-1, as Barango puts it straight down. 2-1 for Carson. There it is. Barango again with a kill. He's going to get set all day long, especially when Granada's passing well. They love that middle set. That's the strength of Granada Hills in the middle. Yes. They will never go away from that. Even if they hit 10 in a row, expect that they're going to keep setting it the 11th time. And I think Carson's going to try to do that just to make the Granada middles work a little bit on defense. Well, the middles that will have to step up for Carson are Alan Zalea, number one, and number 42, Noah Titano. 2-2, two, two, just the beginning. Best three out of five. That one doesn't clear the net for Neil Titano. That's the older brother of Noah. 3-2, the champions lead. Granada Hills won the title last year, beating Palisades. There's a kill on the outside. Jordan Molina. Now, Jordan Molina, only 5'9", but he's outstanding on his way to Long Beach State. He's one of the smartest guy on the court and all season long. I think that's his game, not really a power game, but he's going to try to get his kills on little things. DeLuna's dug. They go back to him, and he scores. There they go again, Randy. Middle set, I think. Uh, you're going to need all six hands from Carson to really do a good job and slow that middle down. Yeah, David DeLuna is an all-city player at 6'3". Where's number four? One of the stars of the Highlanders. Granada Hills early, 4-3. But it's tough to stop the jumping jack, Jordan Molina. Oh, he's good, Randy. He's very good. There he is with his angle shot. Uh, once in a while, if the blockers move in, he's going to go to that line shot. He is very smart. He's as smart as he can get in city volleyball. The MVP of the Marine League is Jordan Molina. 4-4 draw, first set. We're going five sets perhaps tonight. This should be a tremendous match in the Division One final. Afusia is done. Carson showing some defensive skills. And blocking the roof up front. Garrison Savini with the stuff. Badiki and Spike came right back. 5-4 for the Colts. Well, that's what's going to happen if Granada sets the ball outside. I think Carson is used to that. Service error, and we're even at five apiece. Oh, you can't do serves like that against Granada. you got to have to keep that in play. you got to make him work every single time. Tom Harp, uh, the legendary 32 years of excellence coach on the Granada Hill sideline. But his team sees a thunderous attack from Alan Zalea. 6-5 Colts. Of course, Ralph Mertens has done an excellent job for many years at Carson. Oh, he's great. I think uh, when he took over a couple of years ago, Carson became a powerhouse just because of the work he puts in year-round. They love working, and they love playing for him. DeLuna in the middle. Ties it at six apiece. Another kind of a middle. feeling out process here. 
Another another kill from the middle. Yeah, I, I think that's what's going to happen. And and Granada, like I said, will not shy away from that. Especially every good pass, the way to stop Granada is stop their middles. Molina attacking from the deep court. And a block on the outside for Granada Hills, and the Highlanders lead by one. He's the biggest block in city volleyball, Sam Barango. Barango 6'3", a senior. The Highlanders' tallest player, obviously. That one hit the antenna. A miss hit by Joe Bedeacon. And it's a point for the Colts. That's a brother going to his brother. Joe and John. And the Badikians they... in the starting lineup for Granada. And, of course, there's the Titano brothers starting for the Colts. Number two leading number one, eight, six in our opening set. The Colts by two. Quick attack in the middle. Barango again. Oh, he's tough. He's tough. I'm still yet to figure out this year how to stop that kid. Um, as you know, we play him twice this year, and uh, even if you know it's coming, it's very hard to stop. They play a very fast tempo middle set, and uh, every single time they put the ball away. Well, if you execute well, it really doesn't matter if you know it's coming, right? right. If, if they execute, it's going to score. Oh, that's I feel like that's in every sport. Um, but especially for Granada, like I said, that's their bread and butter. They like going to that play, and it's hard for anybody to stop them. Checking rotations here. So we'll make sure everybody's uh, properly in the game. Carson had wins over Bell, Birmingham. Both those matches were 3-0, and then Chats were 3-1 in the semifinals to get ever into their first ever D1 final. Granada Hills with wins, straight sets over Narbonne, Southgate, and Palisades. That spike is long, point for the Colts. Drake Uthe hit it long. Uthe is a transfer from Silmar, a very vital player for Granada Hills, excellent passer. Oh, I think uh, he's their best passer. And, um, you know, he tries to take over passing responsibility when necessary. And uh, you can see it right there, another good pass by Drake. 9-8, Carson leading. Very competitive opening set. Colts undersized, but they play magnificent defense. A lift against Carson. That's Carson of Granada Hills. <laughs> and it's right. a point for the Carson Colts. Yeah, he's usually not the center. He's an outside hitter playing on the opposite end. So Carlo Carson is playing against Carson. <laughs> and he's the one who was detected for the mistake. And a breakdown by Granada Hills, and the Colts lead 11 to 8. That will happen once in a while when they run that middle all the time. But like I said, they will run it again, so they're not going to shy away from it. It's a great start here for Carson. How confusing is that? We have Carson playing for Granada Hills against the Carson Colts. <laughs> Joust at the net, still going. That one's pounded away off the tape and wide. Point Colts, 12-8 Carson. This is the start that Carson wants, and especially uh, against an experienced Granada team, you definitely need a hot start like this. Colts have played some tournaments this year and played very well, and there's a roof on the outside. Wellington Afusia with a fabulous play. That's a great block, Randy. That's a one-on-one -on -one block. Their middles went with the other middle, and he got them one-on-one -on, -one on that. Great technique, great form. Afusia said, if we don't win the city championship, it's a disappointing year. It's been a great year regardless. There's Afusia again. 
trying to put it away for the Colts. Afusia again had it blocked back. Free ball for Granada. The ball hit the antenna, point Colts. Carson playing terrific D. Terrific back row defense, especially when Jordan's back there. He's actually a libero that plays the outside, so he's very good defensively back there. Yeah, in fact, he's going to be a libero when he goes to Long Beach State. Plays libero for his club team. That one shot through by Carlo Carson of Granada Hills. Carlo had seven kills in the semifinal victory over Palisades. Well, here comes Granada. When Carson serves back there from Granada Hills, Granada is actually in their best rotation. Got to like what they're doing. Carson is playing well in the middle. That was Titano, Noah Titano, a tireless worker. He had seven kills in their win over Chatsworth. They're matching Granada Hills in the middle. That's the key. That's one of the key I thought at the beginning of the match is if Carson Middles play well offensively and defensively, um, they can win this match easily. But that's one of the key things for Carson is also serve the ball over the net, especially, like I said, against the Granada Carson, Hills. It was a breakthrough victory yeah. for Carson when they knocked off Chatsworth in four sets in the semifinals. But they're not content just getting here. They want to win it all. Mishandling of the ball on the Colts. Point to Granada Hills. The lead is 15-11 for Carson. I like the fact that Carson is very focused when they make a mistake. You know, usually a team with inexperienced players, they'll get a little shaky after a mistake. As you can tell, after a mistake, that kid passed well. They ran an offense and put the ball away. Another kill for Noah Titano, the sophomore. Number 42 is very good. A very attractive player for the Carson Colts. 16-11. There's a kill on the outside. Nicely done by John Badikian. That's their setter opposite. I think he's the best all-around player here in the gym. I, you know, he can set, he also pass, and he's a great hitter when he's on the right side attack of Granada. Pounding it off the block is Jordan Molina. You're just gonna get 15 to 20, maybe even 25 kills from Molina. You can just book it. Oh, it's a guarantee. It's a guarantee. And he's gonna do it in a variety of ways. He can show you some hit, some angle, some line. And when it's time to tool off the block, he'll do that as well. Or when everybody's playing back, he just tip it right over you. Jordan then come to play. Jordan Molina comes to dominate. They go back to him. Oh. That one's put away by DeLuna of Granada Hills. David DeLuna, he's the MVP of the West Valley League. How do you stop that, Randy? How do you stop that? You know, one of the reason he was the MVP of the West Valley League is plays like that. When you think he's not going to get set, he just go up and put the ball down. There's an errant pass. So far, Carson, for the most part, other than that misplay there, has passed it well. How would you grade him to this point, passing the ball? Passing the ball, it's probably about a B plus, A minus, and the reason for that is... Jordan is not passing the ball. So those kids are actually playing well without Jordan handling the ball. I think Granada's passing or serving away from Jordan. Highlanders are building momentum. John Badikian is starting to warm up the junior hitter. He's an opposite and he's bringing heavy heat. 15 serving 17. And a block. On the outside, Carlo Carson of Granada Hills rejecting Jordan Molina, and the Highlanders are within one. Well, that's Jordan's uh, hitting from the right side. He doesn't have as much shot there, but, you know, when Carson's passing out a system like that, they become predictable. 
Another kill for Carlo Carson. We're even at 17. Yeah, here comes Granada. You know, they're very experienced team. They are defending champs. A lot of these kids, except for Drake, were on the team last year, so they know what it takes to just keep grinding it out. And now they get a block. I expect a timeout here, and there it is, Randy. There's a timeout. Granada Hills has forged out in front, 18-17 in the first set over the Carson Colts. Colts to put it in play. Highlanders to put it in play. Colts need a side out here. They've seen Granada Hills go on a run to take the lead. They need a good pass here so they can run their middle, Randy. That's a pretty good pass. There it is. They went to Zalea. We have a carry on the Colts. Granada Hills streaking to a 19-17 lead. You know that play was coming, and the bad part about that is uh, it's a predictable play. Zalea again. And another point for the Highlanders. The connection between Titano and Zalea, not clean. Not that clean. Well, I think also um, Delea is also thinking about Granada's middle. That's the MVP of the West Valley right in front of him. And a hitting error. Granada Hills in system, playing very well. Uh, you know, when, when Granada Hills look like they're out of system, they find ways to stay in system with great out of system sets. Colts need to get a point here. But CC puts it down. That's Carlo Carson of Granada Hills, 22 to 17. We're going to get a substitution here. I think we need to slow the game down a little bit. Andrew Wences, a right side hitter, has come in. And this is what Carson is. Garrison Savini. Carson is flexing, is what I call flexing. Jordan on the outside, and there he is. He usually, in that rotation, hit the right side. They made a move to put him on the left side, and that's where he's more comfortable. And that's the result, a nice kill. Jordan Molina had 25 kills and eight digs in the win over Chatsworth in the semifinals. He's a three-year player. He is their go-to hitter, and he came through there to bring the Colts to within four. He'll serve at 18-22. Yeah, he's going to jump serve here, Randy, and he has a great jump serve, but it went right to Drake, which is Granada's best passer. David DeLuna gives Granada Hills its 23rd point of the set. Tom Harp teams are... You know, they never seem to get flustered. They don't. They, they play a steady, steady game. They're the most consistent team all season long. And over the last 15 years that I've been coaching, I can say they're the most consistent team that I coach against. The spectacular dig. Molina! Heavy heat from Jordan Molina. That's the best spike of the opening set. Yes, yes, and he is very capable of that. And that's coming from the back row. And they're going to need him to put about two or three or those to catch Granada Hills to get a chance to maybe catch him at 24 and maybe push this set into a little overtime. Such a natural hitting motion for Molina, but a service error. And Granada Hills is at set point 24-19. You can't do that. You can't do that at all. That's, uh, that's a DS coming in, and uh, that's a tough serve. That's a tough job, Randy. Coming in cold early in the match or late in the match without any experience and just throw a serve like that. Christian Remigio with that 3.7 GPA. The outstanding libero is in. They pass away from him. There's the block, but he's on the net, so it's a point for Colts. They don't know that they're still in this set. This set is not over. There was a violation, no, I, uh, a net violation. Yeah. So Carson should stay out there. Yeah. They get the point. It's 24-20. Yeah, I, I think Tom Harp thought that, you know, they won that point. But there's the net. And I even think the ball went through the Granada side. It was such a quick bang-bang play that the ball 
landed on Granada's side but bounced to the Carson side and that's when I think the Granada kids and Tom Harp were walking over for a change of side. Second go. set point for Granada. See if Carson can make a miraculous comeback here. They got one here, it's 24-21. That's a love. That's a good pass, good set, good offense by Carson. Of course, you got to keep the ball in play. Set point number three. Oh, that's a wide open net. There it is. That is what 25 Granada, 21 for that's Granada, what Granada Hills. Middles in set will do one. To you. You're going to try to put four hands on them, and you're going to leave another outside hitter and opposite hitter wide open for an open net like that. Granada Hills battles past the Colts in the first set. Set two is next. Colts will put it in play to begin the second set. Granada Hills captured the opening set 25-21. It's been a fabulous year for the Colts. Oh, it's a great year. It's a great program, and... The kids are the one that has to be commended because they put in the last two years, I think they're as hardworking as anybody in the city. And obviously you can see the result. They're here now at the city championship. This is such a balanced Granada Hills team. That was John Badikian with the kill. They can hit you from so many different places. All angles. And they can do that as well, but it goes out of bounds. They don't mind that. They like presenting a big block out there just to make the Carson hitters think a little bit. Got the block up there, but it was tooled wide, so the Colts got the point. Beautiful block by Jordan Molina. He can do it all, Randy. That's a one-on-one -on -one block. Usually the hitter have the advantage on that, but not against Jordan. Reached over, closed. Hands on area sick, great, great block. There is some power on the outside. Drake Uthay, tell us why Uthay is so good. Well, I think he's a great passer to begin with, and every time you're a great passer, you'll always have a place on the court to play. And he developed his serving with that, and now he developed his hitting with his blocking. And he can do it all. But if you're a great passer, uh, every offense will go through you. Molina again. Jordan Molina just doesn't miss. No, no, not many. Not many. Maybe one out of 100. Sure, you'd like to have him at Taft, right? Absolutely, absolutely. If I have a vote, he'll be a... Uh, Top six. I'm sure he's going to make all city first team this year. There's one that's through again. There's Drake Uthe. You know, Drake plays with a little bit of chip on his, on his shoulder. You know, he transferred to Granada, and he felt like he had to prove to some people that he belongs there. And believe me, he does. That was a great dig by Drake. Unfortunately, Granada netted on that one. Yeah, it was David DeLuna that ran into the net, the all-city player of Granada Hills. Carson, 4-3. One would think it's imperative that the Colts win this set after dropping that first set, 25-21, to the champions. Oh, they need this. They need this. Carlo Carson was rejected. And the Colts at the net do their thing. And a beautiful job by Garrison Savini. That's a great kill. He's going to need one or two kills per set to contribute just to keep everything balanced for the Carson because it's only a matter of time before Granada start doubling up Jordan, and he's going to need to put some balls away on that side. Yeah, Savini's a raw talent, a football player. Excellent in the front row for the Colts. Another miss serve, Randy. That's something uh, Carson cannot afford against the Granada, who's in rhythm now. 
Hard to believe David DeLuna, who's that great middle blocker who just served, didn't start last year on the championship team, came off the bench. That's how deep this Granada Hills team was last year. Colts playing some great defense. Digs. That was Neil Titano with a wonderful up. Best rally of the match. Not over yet. Run down by Remigio. Oh. Remigio again with a terrific dig. Hey. The spike down the line by Jordan Molina. There what goes. a rally for Carson. That's a great line shot by Jordan. Like I said, he has all that shot. And the spectacular digs by the Carson Libero. Christian Remigo. He's a great defensive player, Randy. And I think he He's feeds off. He's the cousin off. of Jordan Molina. Oh, I was just going to say that. He feeds off Jordan. Titano with the save. They all keep coming back. Wellington off seal with the rejection. Well, the Colts have gotten their mojo back. Now they just got to play a little bit level-headed when the ball is in play like this. They can't get too high because Granada will play consistent. That's a great serve by Jordan. Again, we've documented it. Jordan Molina can do it all, this senior outside hitter. He's serving. MVP of the Marine League. There's that tough serve, and it's an ace. And I love this Carson rooting section. They're into the match. Oh. I love fans that really, really support their high school. A big shout out to the fans of all high school sports out there. As we close in on that jump serve of Jordan Molina. He's got this Colts team back into the match, and he's got Granada out of sync. Timeout. It's 10 to 4. Carson, second set. There's that wonderful section that's rooting for the Colts. You got that number 16 there, that Jordan Molina sign. The fans have come here from Carson. They are really into the match, and their volleyball team in the second set has been splendid. Well, Jordan is responsible for all those points. Let's see if Granada can side out here, out of a timeout. Well, there's a breakdown. You won't see that from Neil Titano very often. That's okay. You just shake it off and go ahead. Uh, you need to shake it off, and you got to side out here right away because Granada will try to grind it out as the match goes on. Brandon Koo with the float serve, and he's got an ace. He's a senior, very experienced player. Had 18 assists in the semis against Palisades. You know, one thing about Granada, Randy, is as the match goes on, they're just going to make you play consistent volleyball because that's what they do. And they're just going to serve the ball over the net. They're going to make you decide whether you want to pass it or not. And on that other play, you know, they decide not to pass. And next thing you know, there's an easy ace for them. That one hit the antenna, so it's a point for the Colts. 11-6 for the Carson Colts. Again, it's a team that's won 35 matches. So the Colts are proven winners. They are, and they won also undefeated in the Marine League. That's always a tough league in city section. And they played so well and with so much poise against Chatsworth in the semifinals, but Granada Hills keeps coming at you. Highlanders come at you in waves. Seven serving 11. Another good pass. Another good set down the middle, and they will keep it going. Double contact against the Colts, point Granada. 
Yeah, unfortunately, you can't afford plays like that against Granada Hills. You got to keep all those little things in play and make Granada Hills earn their way back into the match. Afusia again. That one's put down and put away. Drake Uthe with the kill. That's a great play by Granada Hills. Dig out of system set into their left side. Killed by Drake. You never sense that Granada's out of a set, even if they're down. And they're down by two and now one as Carlo Carson gets the ace for the Highlanders. There it is, another kill or another ace. There's a timeout here at the Roy Ball Learning Center. The Colts 11, the Highlanders 10. Those Colts are battling, but the Highlanders are up one set. 11-10, the Carson Colts lead has uh, diminished. Granada Hills has crept to within one. Saved by the Colts. Looked like the Carson was out of that rally. There's the off-speed delivery, and it's down for John Badikian. We're even at 11 apiece. That's a great play by Joe. I'm sorry, by John. He's the setter opposite. He passed that ball, came around, and hit on the right side. I'll tell you this. John Badikian jumps out of the gym. He does. He did a good job for them last year as one of the setter for the city championship team. So, you know he's excited to play this. Angelo de Guzman, 4.0 student. He's taking calculus and see if he can calculate a good serve here for the Carson Colts. Too tough at the net. Terrific job by Barango again of Granada. Yeah, he's, uh, he's very good at the net. Number 12, Barango ties it at 12 apiece. That will be credited as a block and a kill at the same time. He did them both. 12-12 draw. Second set. Granada Hills won the first set. 25-21. The Highlanders making some service errors here. Two missed serves in a row. I can't remember the last time we ever seen that from Granada Hills. That one's going to be bumped wide. Unforced error. The last three points by Carson is a miss serve, miss serve, and uh, I don't know what is that, Randy. We don't usually see that from a Granada team. Vital second set for the Colts. Down a set. They have a free ball here to attack. They go to Molina. He had it come back. Highlanders do a nice job off that net. And again, not the hookup you would believe. And those are the two brothers, the Titano brothers, Neil and Noah, not connecting. Ooh, that's hard to believe. It hasn't been uh, the last five, six points here. It hasn't been clean for both sides. Let's see if both teams can settle down and start playing some good volleyball here. They work Molina. And Molina, Another again, kill from accurate. Gordon. That's a nice, easy, soft touch off the block. It hit the side of the antenna. The thing you like about Jordan Molina, he's so clutch. Whenever the Colts need a big point, they're going to go to number 16. Mishandling of the ball on Uthe, Point Carson. That's a pretty good set, I think, Randy. You didn't you know, like that call. I did not. I think it's, you know, let them play on a little bit. Deluna is rejected. Beautiful play in the middle by Titano. And that's Neil Titano, the 5'8 setter. And when a setter gets a block like that, that's just a great moment. 
Oh, they love moments like that. They don't really get a lot of opportunity, especially if you're a 5'8 setter. And he blocked that right on the middle. He's a better blocker than you would think. And there's another one by Titano on cue. That's two in a row, Randy. There's a lot of things that you don't usually see in volleyball. A 5'8 setter getting two blocks. Well, he's very quick, very athletic. Even though he's 5'8", he can get up there on the net. And this time, DeLuna was not going to be denied. But Carson has an 18-14 lead here. Going to 25, got a win by two. Carson has Jordan in the front row. Let's see if they'll go to him. The joust, and it's won by the Colts. I think he's proving me wrong that he's 5'8", Randy. He might be six feet. Might have to check that out again. Carson by five at 19-14. Trying to even up this match at a set apiece. That one hit the antenna by Carlo Carson, so the Colts with another point, 20 to 14. Yeah, just a lot of unforced error on the Granada side right now. Timeout, Granada Hills, the Colts by 20 to 14. Colts to put it in play, leading by 20 to 14. Granada's completely out of system. That's unlike Granada, especially on the second set when they just won the first set. So there's something going on. Oh, there it is. A quick switch. Put the libero in there. Brian Wynn has checked in. He is the libero. Wearing that white uniform for the dark-clad Granada Hills Highlanders. And they go to their bread and butter, which, of course, is David DeLuna. Yeah, that's the point they need. League MVP putting the ball away. He's back here to serve now. Still a handsome lead for the Colts, up 21 to 15. That one is hit out by Alan Zalea. But again, and I mentioned it in the first set, you never count Granada Hills out of a game. No, not at all. Maybe if it's a 24-0, but right now it's 21-16. But there he is. Big kill by Jordan. Well, he's the one guy that you feel confident every time he goes up if you're a Carson Colt supporter because he is so accurate. Oh, there's no doubt about that. And here he is going back to serve where he got three aces the last time. Again, he's got Granada out of sync. Got a block in the middle. Sam Barango bailed out Granada Hills with the roof. Yeah, unfortunately, they run uh, X2 play in the middle, and you don't really want to run that in front of the best blocker in the gym. You might want to move him around a little bit. 17, serving 22. That hit is out. Savini too much there. And here come the Highlanders. Here they are. And here's the test for Carson because Jordan is in the back row. Let's see if anybody from Carson can carry a load of, oh, a miss serve by Granada. Good hit one. it wide. What a break for the Colts at 23-18. Two points away from the set. That brings Noah Titano back into the front row at six feet, the sophomore for the Colts. And Santino Chavez serving for Carson. There's one that's down on the outside from John Bedikian, and he's been very solid for the Highlanders. Hey, that was actually a good serve by Santino. Unfortunately, he served it right to Drake, who's a great passer. Granada ran an offense and put the ball away. Oh, Carson serving 23. 
All Carson have to do now is just side out. They Two can more trade times. points. There's one. That one's put away nicely by Wellington Afusia. Set point. Carson Colts looking to tie the match. We got Angelo de Guzman, Randy, serving. This is a tough job for anybody just sitting on the bench and coming in to serve, especially on set point. Still alive. Free one for the Highlanders. And Drake puts it away. Drake Uthe. That was a great shot, great hit, nice angle shot. Highlanders get to 20. They bring in Justin Timble to serve. Guy who's really come on in the playoffs. Very good defensive player. Defensive specialist. Has to keep it in play. We're going to have a timeout before the next serve. We'll step out 24-20 for Carson. Set point. Second set point. For the Colts, 20 serving 24. Can the champions rally? Or will the Colts tie the match up at a game apiece? There's one that's rejected. DeLuna roofing a Fusia. Boy, that DeLuna is so good. He is. He is. Uh, both of Granada's middle are great blockers. Great technique, very fundamental, very smart at the net. Carson's going to have a tough time siding out here. And who are they going to go to with Jordan in the back row? There's, There's another, another block. block. So three set points have been erased by Granada Hills. It's 22 serving 24. And Ralph Mertens wants his team to settle down. Yeah, you have to settle down. There's really no panic here. You still got two swings for a set. You're basically having some free swings right here. There you go. Uh, Fusia's dug. Now here's a free ball. For Carson, can they put it away and win the set? Afusia again. He's got it. The Carson Colts win the second set, 25-22, and square the match at a set apiece. We'll be back for the set three, and those Colt fans enjoying it right after this. Set three, Carson and Granada Hills even at a set of peace in our Division I final at the Roy Ball Learning Center with Armin Mercado, the Taft head coach. I'm Randy Rosenblum. Here we go, set three. There's a block at the net, well done by Granada Hills. They score first, it was Barango again. That's right again, Randy. You know, if I'm Carson, I'll, I'll move the ball around, but you can't set the ball in the middle like that. He's just going to trap the ball every time. Again, the Colts running into the block of Granada Hills, and the Highlanders score the first two. Well, you kind of expect this on a championship match. Granada rebooting and making sure they get a lead right off the bat. There's a kill from the deep court from Jordan Molina. He is so good, and every time the Colts need a point, there's Jordan Molina. It wouldn't be a bad idea, Randy, if they just set him every time and see what happens. Of course, the great equalizer is tough serving. That's what Carson wants to do. They got a good serve, and because of it, they win the rally 2-2. Randy, did you see that's Jordan again going into the middle? They're moving him around. He hit from the middle attack, hitting a quick ball on that. Two top-ranked teams in the city of Los Angeles battling for the D1 crown. Net violation. It's against Carson. Give Granada the point. Yeah, Jordan tried to bite on the middle on that, and then he was late on the outside, a little out of balance, and uh, barely touched the net, but 
in high school volleyball, every time you touch the net, it's illegal. There's Molina banging away, tooling it off the block. Point for the Colts. Boy, he's got that tool shot down. He does. He does. And he knew there was four hands in front of him, so he went high and hard on that and got the fingertips away from the net. Here we are, 3-3, three, three. game three, Randy. Not much to separate number one and number two. We had a violation on Granada Hills anyway, so it's the Colts point, and they lead 4-3. Yeah, a little tight pass. The setter did a good job setting, but he stepped off and he went under. Every time you went under or any part of your body go underneath that net line area, it's illegal. I know you hate it when you see a service error. Oh, I do. I do, especially when, you know, it's not within the game plan. I, I thought uh, they were trying to serve number 14, and 14 was lined up in the middle, and it kind of went area one, and it was a, it's a long serve. Nice up by Carlo Carson of Granada. And now a block. Zalea. Alan Zalea with the roof for the Colts. That was pretty. That was pretty. That's a great block. He waited on that hit by Drake. Drake thought he had the angle open. Um, then they Carson took it away. Neil Titano with the serve. DeLuna off the block and down for the Highlanders. That's a great pass by Justin. He needed that. They were trying to serve him off the court early in the second game. He needed a couple of passes like that to get his confidence up. Molina again provides offense for the Colts. 6-5, Carson. Yeah, he hit from the right side, and maybe he knew that Justin was on that side, so he hit in that area, and Justin had a violation on an illegal lift call. Now here's the big jump serve from Jordan Molina. That one's thrown down by DeLuna, and that gets Molina out of the back row in terms of serving, so that's a plus for Granada Hills. They take the serve, the ball out of the hands of Molina. That could be a double plus because now he's not in the front row and he can't serve till another six rotation comes around. Granada Hills came over the net. Garrison Savini, point for the Colts. That was a break for Carson. That was a very aggressive play by Sam Barango. But the ball was on the other side of the net, and you cannot reach over on one and play the ball like that. Santino Chavez, a key player in the back row for Carson, putting it in play. Power on the outside from Joe Badikian. That's a brother-brother connection there, Randy. Pair of like sevens on the board. Very hotly contested match. Well, you like a championship match when it's fought like this. Oh, absolutely. You know, this is my first time doing this, Randy, but I don't mind working overtime today. And let's go. Let's go five. Let's go five, 15, 17, or even more after that. Well, I remember not too long ago you had a match like that against Palisades where you had a long one in the fifth set. Here's a power ball on the outside from Wellington Afusea. That's a great play, a little combo. You know, what we're missing right now, Randy, is why the game is so tight is some great passing from both teams. Both teams are running their offense. They're both in system. So both teams are scoring points. Afusia has phenomenal timing. There's one off the net, and it's an ace. De Guzman with the perfect serve. Angelo De Guzman. Play. You know, he's going to be the valedictorian this year at Carson. Oh, congratulations to him. 9-7. Carson leading. And another breakdown at the net by Granada. 
And Carson playing with confidence. They lead by three. He's making some good serve back there. And Granada, you know, as soon as they said that both teams are passing well, we see a couple of overpasses right there. Oh, as soon as they said that, there's a missed serve right there. So he still did a nice job. He did. Every time you can score three and give up one, that's a good trade-off. Yeah, Angelo de Guzman, you'll take that every time. Eight serving ten. Molina from the deep court. Run down by Carlo Carson. Granada somehow kept it alive. And Granada wins the rally. Great defense. Great defense. And a terrific front row. You know, he's the one who put that over, which is John, and he ran all the way up at the net to get that block. Great play. Youth, they got it. Colt fans don't like the call. I think we're going to have an overrule, and we do. It's going to Carson. Yeah, I thought that ball was a Originally, 50-50. it was called good. It originally called good, but from my point of view, it was out just by a little bit. And it was a bang-bang play for the Lions person. Head rep was a more experienced, saw that, and made the right call. Double contact on Granada and a yellow card. Now, Brandon Koo, who's a captain, he's allowed to go over and talk to the up official. Obviously, something was said. That's why they got the yellow card. Well, I think, Randy, the referee blew the whistle on that double call, and Drake still decided to keep the ball in play and hit. And I think the referee didn't like that. 12-9, 12-9, Colts. That's hit wide. Another point for Carson. It's a great shot by Drake. You know, he opened up with a swing, and he found a little opening right there. Well, they said it was good, and Justin Timble will be serving 10-12. Molina, got it. Now we're going to have another overrule. So that's the second point in the last four where we have an overrule where the linesman called it good, and the up officials changed the call, so give Granada the point. That's true, Randy, and, you know, you can't blame the official because he changed the call for Carson favor, and now he changed for Granada favor. I thought that ball was out also. So I think the head rep right now is making some good calls, and he's kind of taking over some of the call duties right now, which is part of his responsibility. And that middle attack ties the set, 12 apiece. There it is. He's the league MVP, and they will set him wherever the pass is. That pass was a little off the net, and he asked for that ball, and he got it. That one is in, no question about it. Jordan Molina. We have another overruled here, Randy. The Lions people are feeling a little pressure from the crowd right now. That's three. No, the shot was in. There was no doubt. That's a Carson point. Well, you got young kids on the line and veteran officials surrounding them. Great dig by De Guzman, and the put away by Molina. Those are big time play. You know, one thing you gotta give these kids credit because some of the 50-50 calls the last few points and the kids that keep playing. They're still playing hard. No one's really complaining. They're letting the referees do their job. That one went around the antenna, so it's another Colts point, 15 to 12. And after being caught at a dozen, Carson has responded. Well, they had some tough serves and put Granada out of system. 
Another good serve by Remigio. And a block for a win for the Colts. Their student body is loving it. They continue to be raucous in that section. They are very much a part of what Carson is doing. Well, it's going on with some tough serve by Christian right now. He's really sending Granada way back there. There's another one. They work Molina. Down the line and in again for Jordan Molina. Killed by Jordan. They're going to be difficult to stop when he is playing this well. You know, it's all starting with Christian serving back here. 17 to 12 for the Colts. Trying to go two sets to one to the good over the champions. Colts digging nails, making all the plays. That doesn't clear. 18 to 12, Tom Harp wants a timeout. Carson leads by six, we'll step out. Coach, why is Carson excelling right now? Well, I think they're playing freely. A big part of it is their crowd is behind them right now. And these serves that's going over, it's not just going over, they're making Granada back up and play those balls. And it also helps that Jordan is in the front row putting the ball away. There he is again. Long rally. Carson covers up while the joust is won finally by Granada Hills and Drake Uthe. That's a big play for Granada. Now can they keep this up? You know, in a championship match like that, like this, when you're up 18-13, all you have to do is side out, pass well, especially when your best player is in the front row, and I'm talking about Jordan. He's going to have to keep feeding him the ball. There it goes to Molina. He puts it away. 19 on the board for Carson, 13 for Granada Hills. Let's see if Granada can answer back. Granada needs to answer back. They need to put some tough servers back there. The keeper, Carson, right now, just keep the ball in play. Make Granada earn every point. Colts trying. 21-17. Colts lead here in this third set. One set apiece for the City Division I Championship. Carson receiving the serve, down by four. Colts to put it in play. Brandon Koo way behind that line. Nice float serve right at Molina. Not a good pass. Net violation on Carson. And the Highlanders move to within three. It'll be 19 serving 22. Yeah, that's another unforced error by Carson. They need to settle down right here. Even maybe use a couple of timeouts by their coach. There's no need to save them. You're in the lead. You just got to tell them they got to make Granada earn the last two or three points. That's a Carson point. A mistake on the net by Granada. You're right. They call it very tight in high school volleyball. They do. You know, some of the people that are watching this, might think little nets like that when they're used to club volleyball, it's not a net there. But in high school volleyball, every time you touch the net, any part, it's illegal. De Guzman with another deep serve. Highlanders way out of system. A free ball for the Colts. They attack and hit it out. Point for Granada, and the Highlanders really dodged a bullet. 20 serving 23. Here it is. Let's see if... Uh, Carson from Ganada can get a serve in. He's had some key kills for the Highlanders, Carlo Carson. Molina with a strong attack. It'll be set point for the Carson Colts at 
Another Granada's, winner for Jordan Molina. Granada's doing some uh, unexplainable things on their side. Another miscommunication. Timeout taken by Granada Hills. Can the Colts close out set three? We'll find out in a moment. Set point for the Colts. 24-20. Off Usia with the serve. Nice job on the outside from Drake Uthe. The 21st point for Granada. But now the Colts will be receiving and they can attack and try to close out the set. Brandy, unfortunately for Granada, Jordan is in the front row. They go to the middle! And it's Noah Titano with the winning kill. Yeah, they didn't even need to go to Jordan on that. That was a great pass, great swing by Noah. Granada won the first set 25-21. Carson has stormed back 25-22, 25-21. The Colts are one set away from the championship. We'll have the next set for you right after this. The Carson Colts are one set away from a city championship in the upper division. They've never been to a final before. But can they win this final set against the champions from Granada Hills? Point still going. Great rally. What a way to start the fourth set. Molina out of the deep courts. Got it. Jordan Molina. He is playing like a kid possessed. The ultimate bailout package is Molina. Absolutely. And remember, he's only realistic. I think he's only like 5'8", Randy. In the middle, the very talented Sam Barango. Here we go, 1-1, game four of the city championship. How great is the Granada Hills program? Who I think girls and boys, why? They're as good as they get. Their boys obviously been the top over the last five, six years. They've won, I think, five out of the last seven. Uh, but unfortunately right now, in terms of crowd-wise, it's like a gift and a curse. You know, some of their crowd probably feel like, oh, they've been here too many times and they're probably going to win it again. And they didn't really get any support. Um, compared to the Chatsworth crowd where every kill that you hear right now is from the Chatsworth fan club over there on the other side of the bleachers. Well, the Carson Colts are getting great play again from Jordan Molina. And they've opened up a 3-1 lead to begin the fourth set. And it's easy to cheer when Jordan keeps putting the ball away like that. There's one by Afusia. 4-1 Colts controlling the match. Tom Harp pleading with his team. Well, Granada just needs to sell, sell down. They're the defending champions. They've been here before. They know how to play. They got to play solid volleyball right now. Jordan Molina again with heavy heat. Granada on the net. DeLuna doesn't like the call. 5-1 Carson. It was the net, Brandy. I mean, the ball went over and the net is moving. It can't be a Carson kid. It has to be a Granada kid. But like I said, Granada just needs to settle down right here. Pass some ball. And you're going to get breaks like that once in a while, and you got to take advantage of it. It'll be two serving five. The Highlanders to put it back in play with John Badikian. Okay, let's see what Granada can do here. They need about a two-to-one run, maybe catch him at a 10-10 game. Carson seems to be more motivated. There's more pep in their step. They are. They are. It's, you know, it's their first time here. 
and they're one set away. I mean, if you work hard all year long and you can almost taste it, you really got to push home now. Uh, Fusi is roofed. That was a good job of reading the play by Drake Uthe. He was all over that. He is, he is. He read that perfectly. You know, he has a great volleyball IQ. He saw the set not really going to Jordan that time, and it went right in the middle, and he went up for a block. Molina, a rocket for Jordan Molina. Yeah, he's playing at a different level right now. You know, I watched him the last two years, and this is by far his best match. And what a way to do it in front of all these people. But can he close it out with a championship? Well, he's going to have to do it against the defending champions, Granada Hills. Now what is blocked wide. Give the kill to Carlo Carson of Granada. It'll be four serving seven. And David DeLuna will do the honors. Again, Granada tied with Chatsworth in the West Valley League for the championship. Chatsworth knocked out in the semis by the Colts. There's a mishandling of the ball on Carson. It'll be five serving seven. Yeah, he was trying to force that to Jordan. At that point when you're leading a little bit, just, just make the simple play right now, make Granada earn little things. That one goes wide. Another Savini had it hit the tape and just go wide, and it's a point for Granada Hills. Highlanders yeah. with three in a row. They've closed it within one. That one hit the antenna. Nothing Joe Badikian could do. He was so far outside. He had no chance to clear the antenna. That was yeah. a much needed point for the Colts. Absolutely. And the Molina jumper. Jordan out of the backcourt. Uh-oh. Nobody there. How's that happen? Just a setter trying to be fancy. You know, that's an experience setting in for you. You want to make the spectacular play right now instead of the simple play. And the simple play is, you know where Jordan is, just put it up for him. Brandon Koo trying to tie it up for the Highlanders, back by just one. They've rallied here in the, the fourth set. Molina, he's just too good. A terminal hitter. He is. That's in the back row. Right now, you know, whether he's in the back row or front row, when he's playing like this, Carson has no weak rotation. He's a one-man wrecking crew. He is. He is. He's doing it all right now. You know, Granada needs to have one or two guys step up. That's a lift against the Highlanders. Colts open up a three-point lead at 10-7. Ralph Merton sitting on the possibility of a city championship. What a moment this would be for Carson Colts Volleyball if they could get it and dethrone the champions. That one's put away by Carlo Carson of Granada. That's big. He needed that. That would put Carson up by four, but instead they're only up by two with that put away by Carson from Granada. Carlo Carson had seven kills in the semifinals. He's a returning starter for the Highlanders. Oh, another, drop on the antenna, another point for Granada. And again, the Highlanders move to within one. Still a long way to go in this fourth set. Oh, anything can happen right here, Randy. It's the city championship. Another under by the setter. There might be something wrong with the score, Randy. I believe it's 10-10. The scoreboard's incorrect here. I think you are right. It, and they'll adjust it. Right now it says 11-9, and that's why we have a stoppage in play. Tom Harp is up. 
saying, hey, you got to change it. That is an incorrect score. It should be 10-10. It should be 10-10. I think the referees know the score, and they're fixing it. That's why we're going to have this delay. So far, they have not changed it here, so the officials will confer. The head referee knows, I think, it's 10-10. Now, if there's a dispute, will they count up the points? Or can they not go back? Well, they can, they can go back, Randy. The book is the official book. And I don't know whether there's a miscommunication by the referee earlier. Why that, That's why they gave Carson an extra point and took away a point from Granada. But I think the head referee knows exactly what the point is. There it is. They finally adjusted yeah. to 10-10. There's the shot for you. There is the true score. By the way, Olga Espinoza, who's handling the book, is very good for the city section. And there's a point for Carson, and Jordan Molina comes through again. He I is think, so I think, good. Oh, he's great. I think they heard me earlier when they just set Jordan and see what happens, because that's practically what they're doing right now. And he's coming through. He has boundless energy. He does, he does. And it's, you know, it's the fourth set, and he's playing like it's the first set. Certainly adrenaline is kicking in. That one's hit wide, point Colts. 12-10, Carson. That's what Granada needs to keep doing. You know, that's their bread and butter, their middle. Highlanders battling for their life here in the fourth set. Down two sets to one to number two, Carson. Oh, Fusia had it come back. Molina with the off speed did not fool the Highlanders. Drake Uthe drives that one through. Point Granada. That's a good connection. The back row setter dug the ball. And John stood over and set that ball to Drake. And he was waiting for that set. The Justin Timble serve. Granada back by just one. What an up, Randy. Great set. Tremendous rally. And a mishandling of the ball against the Highlanders. 13-11. Yeah, you know, I've been to a lot of city championship, Randy. There's a lot of mishandling of balls today. I don't know whether it's nerves or the crowd, but there's been a, quite a few ball handling errors today. Wellington Afusia. Short serve. That's a tight set. That was not a good set, and there was really no chance on the outside for Uthay to play it. And Carson has built a three-point lead here. Oh, this is crucial. This is the most crucial part of the match now. You know, Carson just needs to keep this going. Afusia, uh, who is a tireless worker behind that line with a 14-11 lead. Good float serve. Molina had it blocked back. Free ball for the Colts. They go to the middle. That one's thrown down by DeLuna of Granada. Well, there he is. You know, he's in the front row now, and he's asking for that ball every single time now. If I'm Carson, though, I'm setting Jordan Molina every time when oh, he's yeah. in that front row. Yeah, he's in the front row right now. And they go away from him into the middle. Now they work Molina, and he tools the block. If it works, stay with it. Absolutely. 
you know, let's let's just ride them all the way home if I'm Carson. And if obviously if I'm Granada, let's keep setting the middle. That's what got you here. Let's keep running it. Another tight set. Carson with the net. Boy, they're lucky there because yeah, that ball was Granada not, was not in system. Not at all. And you know, Carson dug that ball, and I think they were getting ready to serve Jordan. Here's Drake in the back row. What kind of serve is he gonna do? And because of Molina's power, double contact on Granada. Point for the Colts. And right now they're keeping the Highlanders at bay. I, I think. You know, we're all obviously crediting Jordan a lot of uh, points here, but the Le Carson Libero is doing a great job putting that ball up as well. That's Christian Remigio. As well as Wellington in the back row over there. Bombing it off the block. The Highlanders score again. This is a proud team from Granada Hills, and you know if they go down, they're going to go down with tremendous fight. DeLuna back behind the oh, line. Absolutely. You know, they're going to play consistent. Obviously, Carson right now are playing out of their mind. And if you're Carson, you can't have that. You know, I know it's a tough serve, but just keep it in play. Have the setter run underneath it. And let Jordan do all the work after. That one's off the block and down. Jordan Molina. And now he'll serve up 17-15. Two sets to one for the Carson Colts. Undefeated champions row. of the Marine League. And another lift on Granada. It is. It was a mishandled ball again. Pass a little tight. And that's caused by Jordan's jump serve. Tom Harp, the veteran coach, had to go for a walk after that one. He's nervous at this point. His Highlander's in trouble. That attack, there was a touch. There's a touch. Point Granada Hills. The Carson coach knows. 18-16, Carson leading by two. Brandon Koo to serve for Granada. There's a block. That was much needed. The block by Sam Barango of the Highlanders. They're within one again. Yep, that's uh, Granada Middle doing another work. And he had to move about five, five feet on his left to get that ball block. Champions have a lot of fight left in them. Molina out of the deep court with the roll shot for a winner. That was beautifully executed. Yes. Another one out of his... Uh, Bag of tricks there, Jordan Molina. He took something off, landed right in the middle. Santino Chavez in to serve at 19-17. One arm dig by Molina. They set him in the deep court. Oh, and he got Randy. it. Off the tape and straight down. Armin, you love that play. Ooh, I, I apologize to the crowd out there. I had Time to yell out, out that. Carson needs five for the championship. Their crowd loves it. We'll come back and see if they can win the title in a moment. Carson serving, leading 20 to 17, up two sets to one with Armin Mercado. I'm Randy Roseman. Glad you're with us at the Roy Ball Learning Center. The Division I final, and that one's pushed through by Barango. 
And the Highlanders hanging around. That's right. That's a 50-50 set by the setter into Sam. I mean, if, if that has no margin of error, actually, and Sam made a good play at it. Jordan Molina, the middle back in the deep court. They serve it right at him. Got to know where he is at all times. There's a roof. Afusia for Carson. One on one solo block, and it was pretty. Yes. That's as good as it gets for both sides. I mean, Granada did a good job digging, setting, and swinging. Uh, it so happened that Wellington is out there on the left side putting a big block. De Guzman to serve, and now he has good depth normally on these serves. That ball's out, Point Carson. The pressure mounting on Granada. The Colts within three of an upset in a championship. It's a real possibility right now. Great up by Remigio. Oh. Colts playing terrific defense. Here comes Molina. He's blocked. Nice job in the middle by John Badikian. Oh, Granada had to have that. Oh, they have to. They, they need a two-to-one run here, Randy. They need to catch him at 24. You know, you can't be greedy and try to score three points here. Get about a two-to-one. Get a couple of points here and there. Afusia. 23-18 for the Colts. Two points away from the promised land. Oh, we got a timeout here, Randy. Let's see if Tom Harb can stop the bleeding a little bit. Timeout Highlanders. We'll be back. We'll see if the Colts and their enthusiastic crowd will be celebrating when we return. 23-19 in favor of the Colts. Two points away from the championship as they serve. Blocked deep. Highlanders again in trouble. Will they work Molina on the outside? Here he comes. There goes the ball. Jordan Molina. Championship point for Carson. Of course, he had to put that ball away. But, Randy, anything can happen still here. You got to hold on. If you're Granada, you just got to play this out and see what happens. Carson on the brink of dethroning Granada Hills and winning their first ever D1 title. There's Jordan. They break down. Four contacts, point Granada Hills. John Badikian will serve, and he has to keep it in the court or Carson wins. In the court, Jordan is in the front row. Granada is going to have to pull some kind of uh, double block on him. In the middle, there it is. The Carson Colts have upset Granada Hills and they celebrate their first Division I city title. Congratulations to the Carson Colts. Congratulations to Granada Hills for putting on a good city championship today. Unfortunately, there's only one winner, and that's Carson Colts. Jordan Molina was spectacular, and the rest of the Colts shipped in as well. A dramatic and climactic finish Carson is the champion in four sets. Armin, it was a pleasure. Randy, thank you for having me. For Armin Mercado, I'm Randy Rosenblum. Listen to those fans. The Colts are the champions of Division I in the city section.